fair, Mr. Park, to be, to be fair, to, to be fair to this, to be fair to this government, the numbers, the figures that they mentioned were in fact uh, true when you look at uh, how they've managed to uh, contain inflation, interest rates, the fiscal deficit, certainly there is some, some, some reason to give them applause. Through by whose standards? I'm sure you probably would have noticed that we held a pre-budget encounter with the media and now that the budget has been presented we are going to scrutinize it. You must remember that most of us got to see the document even albeit it's a bridge form only today. So they can throw all kinds of figures at us. Do you doubt that we are, we are in single we digit always, inflation? We always doubted. Not the single digit inflation, but how it relates to the well-being of Ghanaians. Well, but that's As always we, been an issue. We've all been in this country before. When we were in government, we had achieved the longest span of single digit inflation. The same people in government today told us that their analysis going to the grounds in the market, Mala Mata, raised questions about the claim that we were making regarding the indices, including inflation. So what has changed? We would also go to Malata market, we would go to Makola market, and then we would do our analysis to respond to the claims that they are making. So the point that I'm making is that their own standards that they have set is by which we are judging them. But the area of education was of utmost interest to me. I was hoping to hear something about a much more, if you like, a, a much more sustainable way of funding the free senior high school policy. We all know that that continues to be an issue. Yes, a lot is being done. A lot of resources are being put at the program. But the challenges still exist. And so what are we doing to tackle those? Now, the minister speaks in the budget about the provision of new infrastructure. He says some 962 structures are being constructed on the campuses of various senior high schools. What I want to know is whether this 962 is an addition to the earlier 804 that government said would be completed or were at various stages of being completed to ameliorate the suffering that students are going through as a result of the obnoxious double track system. In any case, that would be something that I would want to know in detail. The other point I wanted to make was that we have introduced a new policy in the basic school system. This policy came into effect on the 10th of September 2019. As we speak, we are here to get teaching and learning material based on that, which is the reason why NACA has had reason to put out a public announcement, to put out a statement cautioning schools not to procure any textbooks purportedly produced on the basis of the new curriculum at the basic level. Then, curiously, I noticed in the budget that provision is now being made to produce teaching and learning material for KG, 1.25 million. To produce uh, textbooks for lower primary, 1.6 million and above. And upper primary, 1.5 million and above. Clearly, in which part of the world do you introduce a new curriculum without making provision for the production of associated textbooks? So when I say that our education is on the brink of a crisis, it is not just because Dr. Park wants to be heard, but you must agree with me that this is a serious anomaly. So you don't think this is a budget of hope at all? Well, Ghanaians will decide. And from the gallery, even the presence of members in parliament, that will tell you that there was no excitement. And I don't want to mention those who have fallen asleep. If there was excitement, I'm sure everyone would have been alert. Thank you very much, Clement Park, as uh, Member of Parliament for Bursa South. Uh,